so we were talking that v dot ds can be positive or negative depending upon the direction in which the fluid is moving and now we consider the total mass that is inside the control volume the total mass will be the integral of the rho times dv rho will take care of the mass and v of the volume so density time total volume will give us the mass and when we integrate it over the volume the time rate of decrease of mass inside will be equal to triple the same volume plus the integral over rho into v dot ds equal to 0 so this is the equation that we obtain for what we call as a continuity equation so there are always other ways of obtaining the same equation as well and in fact uh, we will discuss those uh, one or two other procedures also by which we obtain this equation and the equation is normally written as divergence into rho v is equal to uh, zero that is for when the fluid motion is steady but if it is not steady then we take the time derivative also into consideration so normally it is also written as d by dt the capital d by dt into the integral of rho dv equal to zero so you will remember that this involves the derivative with respect to time also if it's not a steady motion and then plus the convective terms that occur here rho into dv equal to zero so all these terms uh, we are known as uh, continuity this is the continuity equation very commonly used and basically it reflects the important theorem of physics that the mass is always conserved it cannot be created nor destroyed so somehow if a certain control volume within a control volume a certain amount of volume leaves the same amount of volumes should enter to fill the gap and when we are considering the finite control volume that is uh, fixed in space we have seen the fluid flow moving through that surface and the equivalent procedures of obtaining the equation the continuity equation by whether we consider it in a finite control volume that is fixed in space or finite control volume that is not fixed in space that is moving with the fluid flow in the end we end up by considering both equations we end up with the same equation and the equation is this one that i wrote down earlier that it is equal to d rho by dt plus divergence of rho v equal to zero so i mentioned it so no matter whether you consider the control volume that is fixed in space or it is moving with the fluid flow you will end up with the same equation you can see this is the same as this one so both ways our results is the same and as i just said what does it imply it implies that the mass cannot be created nor destroyed it has to be maintained now this is a situation when we have this is the same picture that we are showing that we have just shown this is a equation which is time dependent which is unsteady so it is equal to d rho by dt into divergence of rho v equal to zero as i wrote down if the motion is steady that will imply that there is no change with respect to time 
and therefore this term will become zero because there is no change with respect to time and the continuity equation will be reduced to del times rho v where v is the velocity rho is the density equal to zero and then further subset of this is that if the density is also constant if the density does not change all then this equation reduced to divergence of v is equal to zero because we can write it as rho times divergence of v equal to zero and when we divide by throughout by rho we are left with let me write it here divergence of v is equal to zero so this is a very simplified form in which there are two assumptions density is constant and the time derivation the time dependency is zero so this is equal to delta v divergence of v is equal to zero is a famous continuity equation in the vector form if i have to write it in rectangular coordinates form it will be du by dx plus dv by dy plus d w by dz is equal to zero so that's what we will obtain and that's what it will reduce to uh, this equation so that's what continuity equation is there are other ways also obtaining the same equation and we will discuss that